So we are looking at the heroes El Jabba. He's 86 rated, 5 foot 10, high medium, 3 star, 3 star, right footed, controlled, explosive, can play striker or centre forward. Now he's got absolutely fantastic acceleration, sprint speed. Not only that, he also has great finishing and shot power, really good composure, good passing for a striker as well. But my favourite thing about El Jabba is he's got the finesse shot plus, which is absolutely broken. And I'm going to show you in this review how broken it is. We've got a power shot and we have gone for rapid. Now, in terms of chem stars, if we jump over to footbin, I think I'm leaning towards more an engine than I am a hunter. So the reason we're going to go for an engine is because it maximises that agility and balance, gives him 90 balance, 82 agility. Of course, it makes his pace go a little bit more and as well as his passing. Reason why I'm not a big fan of hunter, one, it already costs you a lot of coins to buy a hunter. But on top of that, it's only going to give him plus fours on the pace and acceleration more than an engine he's going to give him 98 finishing and 91 shot power which he doesn't really need when he's already got 90 finishing and 87 shot power in my opinion and i do think volleys and penalties going up and positioning doesn't really matter too much because it's only going to be plus fours plus eights and a plus 10 on volley so i do think engine is going to be your best choice especially for the type of play we're going to be using them now we are only playing in our 442 formation the patch has just come out today. We are going to be trying that out. We are going to see how Algebra does in review. And let's just go jump into some gameplay. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins. Very, very cheap, fast, and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So as mentioned with Al Jabba, we are playing up front. Of course, he's going to be playing in our 4-4-2 formation. Now his main job for us today is to be on this right hand side to shoot across goal as we see here in our formation. And his main job is to basically get goals, his link up play. Interesting to see if the engine doesn't matter on his agility and balance or it doesn't matter too much. But the thing I love about Al Jabba this year in particular is that finesse shot plus. It's so, so good to do it to set the ball here. Play it, reset the attack, do get fouled. Interception. Jao Pedro's got a lot to do here. Finds out Jawa. Straight away on a finesse. It's blocked. Lovely little link up. One, two. Back to him. Trying to use that pace. Pass one, pass two. Carl Walker, left foot. See you later. And this is what I'm saying about this card. You don't need a hunter on him because that engine's going to boost the acceleration and sprint, uh, sprint speed as well. We just saw we drove through because of that mostly explosive accelerate type means you can just peel away from the opposition when you need to got the lead here we'll want to test out him on the left hand side later to finesse round but that's against Carl Walker for example someone who's absolutely rapid in this game lovely little goal there from him now let's see if we can proceed to get some more to do find out Jabba through here lovely touch into the finesse is blocked again that's a good touch but even better defender from Militar but terrible pass from our opponent Malcolm the new evolutions that I've just done check out the review on the channel if you want to see how good he is Lovely pass. One more. El Jabba, left foot. See you later. And we finessed it round him. Lovely link up play. Starting off with the pacey winger Evolutions, Malcolm, who I just did a review on yesterday. Linking up lovely with the El Jabba and Jao Pedro in the front three there. And really good performance from Remember so far. Freestyle weak foot. Scored both goals with his left foot so far. Cross goal and one finessing round. Just showing you that freestyle weak foot isn't the worst thing in the world. Do get him again here. Equally good tackle. We do find El Jabba here. Lovely touch. Got a bit of work to do. Little turn around. Into the finesse. Good save on his weak foot again. Find him here. Turn in. Finesse around the keeper. And that's a hat trick for him within 15, 18 minutes there. Two goals on the left foot. One with the right foot. Let's go jump into a second game. So into our second game then. So far, very, very impressive Al Jabba because of that accelerate type. And on top of that, the finesse shot plus we saw there. Punishing our opponent, whether it's on his left or right foot. Very, very good from him. Because of the most explosive, he just feels so responsive in terms of pace and elastic dribbling as we do intercept there, but we don't get the ball, unfortunately. Can attack. Got El Jabba already running between the lines. We find him. Lovely hold up play. A little one, two. Back into El Jabba. Lovely touch. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Never mind. Kim and Jay, they actually destroyed us. But you can see, though, his passing is very, very good for a link up. Maybe forced to run ever so slightly. So as you can see, we are playing Al Jabba on the left-hand side so we can cut in and finesse of him to really highlight how good his finesse shots are. And his main job is, again, to try and get goals as he could beforehand and just see how we get on in this game. A counter attack. Al Jabba running through between the lines. Can we play it to him? We can. Good control. Lovely pace again from him. Getting past Mintz. Surely. Easy. And this is what I'm saying about his pace. We absolutely blew past Kim Min-Jae. 
using that pace on the through ball, counter-attack. And now that we are on the left-hand side, we can just ball roll in and finesse around the keeper as easy as that. Lovely goal there from him. He is lightning fast. I think it's what people are really anticipating with this card is how quick he really is. Deception here. Right, counter-attack. Al Jabra in the middle. You can find a good defense from De Jong. Robbed our opponent, no. Al Jabra running through again. We do find him this time. Lovely touch. Into that left foot. Blocked again. Wouldn't let me switch to him either. I'm trying to show you how good his lip finesse is on his left foot, but every time the AI blocks it. Yeah, now Jabra in between the lines. Lovely touch. Still got a lot of work to do here. Little one, two. Opens up the finesse, and there it is, right on cue. The finesse shot plus coming in clutch. One two between them, miles out. Easy finesse from Al Jabba there into the top corner. And this is why this finesse shot plus is so broken. And that is half time in the second game. Now, Al Jabba has been absolutely instrumental again, as you can imagine. But now we've played him as the left-hand striker to finesse in. You can just see how useful that finesse shot is outside the box, inside the box. Because our opponent doesn't know whether to step up or push back, he gives us that extra yard of space almost every single time. And even if not, we can just use his electric pace to blitz through defenders like that and try and get ourselves in behind. Of course, you wouldn't do that from a kickoff normally. But in these situations here, we can get ourselves a bit of space, finesse on the angle, and then we make a mad save from the goalkeeper. And that shot's on 9 out of 10 times, especially when you work the space as well as I have. So we do find ourselves here. Straight away into Al Jabba. Left stick dribble all the way. Oh, he gets tackled from behind there. I have a word. <clears throat> Again, robbing our opponent. One more. Good tackle from Kim Min Jae. Kim and Jay from the finesse. And this is what I mean with this finesse shot plus. Just turn, shoot every single time it's flying in. Doesn't matter how far away it is. And we've got ourselves a hat trick with him again. And this time we're just abusing that finesse shot from outside the box. And our opponent has no clue how to stop it. Right, counter attack. Al Jabba's on his own here against Frimpong. Good hold up play for a minute. Lovely left stick. Lovely pass in to the run. Wait for the overlap. Take that touch in, finesse straight away, and a great save from the keeper. Force the shot, and we get another goal. And this is why you need to abuse this, because the keepers do not know how to handle it. And we get ourselves a goal with the Malcolm Evolution, like I said, I've done a review on. But you can see that Al Jabba from distance can just cause problems from so far out. You don't need to be in the box. You can finesse from distance, make the keeper make a terrible save, and capitalize on that mistake from the AI as well. Do find Al Jabba here. Lovely touch again. Good hold up play. Again, interception, very unlucky there from Xavi. Al Jabba, interception, good pressure from him, good header as well. Oh, very unlucky, let's get the return. But you can see, even attacking from the front, he keeps that pressure on. Very, very strong as well for his height. Al Jabba here, good hold up. Looking for the space. Running through. Al Jabba, lovely touch. Going to ball roll past the opponent if we can. Use that skill. Lovely left steer all the way. Left foot finish, top corner. And this card is a cheat code for 50-odd K. is unbelievably good. I think we've seen enough gameplay. Let's go jump back over to Footbin and discuss the card overall. So we are on Footbin. It's about 53,000 coins. Now, don't get me wrong. There's rumors of a Max 87 Hero SBC coming out. So if you've got him from this, then it seems like a little bit of an L. But I promise you there are some positives to come out of this. Now, the Finesse Shot Plus, as you already know, is broken. I won't go on about it anymore. We saw the footage. But not only that, he gives you really good links to the Saudi League players. Now, we've got the brand new Evolutions Malcolm that I've mentioned. Of course, Neymar's in there. Team of the Week Kante, Cristiano Ronaldo, Koulibaly, Mende, etc. There's many, many players now from the Saudi League that benefit from Al Jabba. Not only that, having 90 finishing and 87 shot power with the Finesse shot plus means it's like an absolute red lighted rocket going into that corner it hits the target nine out of ten times and either your keeper or the opposing keeper sorry saves it or he fumbles it to one of your other attackers and knock the ball in now i understand why people are suggesting hunter but I will be honest, there is not much difference between a Hunter and an Engine. Engine's just going to maximise that agility and balance for you, as well as giving you a little bit of pace at the same time. And the passing gets boosted to help him link up as well. 
Whereas a hunter is just going to maximize his shooting and pace. We already know that, but you will not notice a plus eight on finishing and a plus four on shot power compared to an extra plus four on pace. Whereas you're going to notice a plus eight on balance because of him being at five foot ten. 177 centimeters he does feel a little bit clunky so you need to fix that with an engine now you can play up front on his own you can play up front in a two i generally think you could drop him in a little bit deeper and play him as a cam if you wanted to even though his passing's in a good place it isn't the most consistent the freestyle weak foot is annoying unless you finesse when you hold down rb and r1 but he does offer you so many things that he didn't offer in previous titles and this is why i think he's actually a small dub maybe not in terms of price but in terms of what he can do in the early stages of fc 24 now as always if you have any questions about this card or any other card comment down below let me know if you managed to get him from the spc or if you bought him off the market or packed him etc and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video